I see what they're missing. He sees you. He can see you. He sees you. I can see what they're missing. They show us these videos of the guy in action. That poor guy. No matter what it is that they say about him, for or against, his videos are there. He sees you. He can see you. And he starts talking. He's at some kind of forum. That just happened, I guess. Bunch of people. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah, ha! Don't tread on me. Isolationist. You know, that FTW thing came up long before the punks and hippies fucked the world. That came out right before World War II in the 30s when everybody was like, fuck the world. We can take care of this on our own. FTW, baby. Must be some sort of handshake for that. And he's saying, I'm... Not the guy that was going to start World War Three. They said I would start World War Three, and then he said things that I know. Is, I'm not even going to explain it to you. You going to tell me I don't know something? You either think something, which could be possible. You believe something, which is less likely. It's an emotive response, or you know something. If you know something, there's no reason to argue. If you know something, it's not a feeling of right of being a winner, you know? Right or wrong, you're an asshole. You're good and evil. You know something, you know it. And he's saying, he's not going to start World War III. Oh, I realize. As he goes on to talk, and he uses one thing, some kind of story about how he told somebody, quit with my people, and, and he he's using an undertone thing of, uh, quit fucking with my people. Don't fucking kill my people. He's not brave enough to say it out loud in front of people. These are the things you need to recognize. If he's sitting there going, and he's in front of an open coliseum, I mean, they accused Jim Morrison of taking his packer out and arrested him. But these days, you could take your packer out and you could fucking uh, do hell's bells to it and nobody would have a problem. You paid the ticket. You get what you paid for, and hopefully it's what you wanted to see. If not, well, as soon as the zipper starts coming down, just fucking turn away and leave. He could have just said fucking, but he dumbed it down. He dumbed it down because he doesn't have the guts to be out in the streets fighting when somebody's coming after his country. He seems to be echoing Putin's words when he says to that guy in Syria, you're going to see something like you've never seen before, or something like that. And I'm like, how are they missing this? He's just imitating idols. And that's where you have to realize he's not what you think he is. He thinks he's this. And you want him to think he's this? It's uh, just a simple matter. He's faking it. He's stealing other people's lines. 
saying he's not starting World War III, but saying you would see something like you've never seen before. That says to me nuclear weapons coming in on Syria, that if he actually said that, then that's what's going on over here with the guy that is his playbook. You really want this? You, I mean, is the reason that you like him is because he's so strong and courageous. And what's he got to lose? He's got his daddy's money. Oh, he's losing that. So, uh, he's lost every dime anybody's ever given him. And, uh, well, I, I don't know. He's just stealing from you. He's in a situation far different from you. For you to give up $30 in a paycheck every week would be you picking cans to keep your family fed. He's picking cans. Cans of the money that you're offering him. Isn't anybody watching this shit? <laughs>